What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy James here, Beards and Cars, back with another video. If you guys are new to the channel, thanks for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Now in this video guys, it's going to be a little bit different for some of you guys, but I had someone ask me this question. If you guys ride a Harley or some type of motorcycle, it's going to show you guys what I use for protection. Um, basically why I'm riding, because I've noticed personally that my hardest beer journey, the hardest obstacle to conquer is while riding the motorcycle okay this is the hardest hardest thing to conquer for your beard is while riding the motorcycle now sorry for the lights in here guys it's dark i'm off in my garage uh just so i can kind of show the motorcycle I'll show you guys because you know he wanted to see the motorcycle said so throw it in there so i'm gonna put it in the video also i'm holding my camera so if it's a little if the video's a little shaky sorry about that it's i'm not used to holding this camera but yeah that's what this video is going to be about so i'm going to show you guys the bike So there's my bike right there. As you guys can see, I got a big 26 inch front wheel on that thing. Got some custom pinstriping up here. Of course, I got my speakers. Got a little amp on this thing. Got my speakers back here in the back. This bike's got air rod on it, so it sits really low. That's my bike I ride right there. Um, and I know a few of you guys have been interested in seeing the car, the Mustang. I haven't showed it in a long time. I know, being that you guys are fans of beards, you guys are men. I've almost met not one man that doesn't like Harleys. Our fast car so i got one of both so i just want to show them in the video but let me stop i want to stop just for a minute let me set my camera up right here probably gonna be a little crooked let me see if i can straighten it all right so that's a little bit better right there so let me show you guys so i can answer his question of what i would use while i'm riding okay so those of you that don't ride a motorcycle this may benefit you in the future you may not ever get on a motorcycle ever but what happens is while you ride a motorcycle, the only thing that happens to your beard is nothing but wind hitting it. And the whole time the wind is hitting your beard, when you're on a motorcycle, all it does is blow your beard up like this. And it constantly moves and moves and moves. The wind just blows it like that. So what happens is, and the reason he's asking me this question, I'm assuming is because of this reason. While all this wind is blowing back and forth, blowing your beard up while you're driving on the road, it creates a major amount of knots in your beard for this reason i don't like riding without something covering my face because of the wind is just crazy you know the wind it's the, the amount of knots and tangles you will get in your beard after riding you know just a few miles i it's it, i can't even explain it to you guys it's that bad for uh this guy that's asking me this question what i use is um basically the first thing i would use is either a bandana or just like a sleeve to put over your face okay so you could take a bandana, you know, a bandana is the shape of a square and you could take it, take it, fold it like a triangle. Um, kind of like you would see a flag folded, fold that thing up to where the V's going down and you got two long points, wrap that thing over your nose and then tighten it back. And then that will cover most of your beard area right there. And then if you don't have one of those, you can pick these up pretty cheap. I know you've seen these, almost everybody's seen these right here. You literally just take this, it's like a sock. You literally just take this right here and you slide it over top of your head, just like that. And what'll happen is when you're done with it being over your head, and you can see it's pretty long. It's longer than my beard is, see? So what happens is by the time you put it over your, over your head, you're riding like this, okay? That's how you're riding down the road right there. Your whole beard's covered. And that will keep all the wind out of your beard because I know when you asked me that question, I knew exactly what you meant, man. That wind is terrible on your beard. It creates knots like crazy, and there's no stopping it. So, unless you just ride down the road and hold your beard the whole time. But the other thing is, you know, um, when you are riding, another thing you can do if you don't have one of these when you get back, man, don't run your fingers through your beard because that's the worst. Uh, it'll pull out so many hairs. I pretty much jump straight into the shower after I get off my bike if I'm not wearing one of these. But I try to wear this, you know, sometimes it's hot, it's hard to wear it the whole time. So 
I hope that answers your question on what I wear. Speaking of bikes, there's one going right there. So I hope that answers your question on what I do for when I'm riding my bike. This is it. I'm going to wear this over the face like that. It's going to cover the beard. Of course, when you pull it off, your beard's going to be a little messed up, but it's not going to be all tangled up in knots and things like that. This is what I would use, or bandana. Like I said, a bandana is shaped like a square. You would take that, fold the square into what you would essentially get as a triangle. You know, this is it's hard to do with this, but you would get a triangle shape after you fold the bandana, and then you would wrap that around. Of course, the bandana is a lot longer than this, and my beard is longer than this. But that's what you would do. You would do that right there. Use this method or the bandana method. That's what I personally use. Um, so I hope that answers your question. And then I just want to, while I'm standing out here in the garage, I just want to show you know I got a few people ask me about the Mustang a few times, so I just want to kind of drop it in the video. And uh, you know, I don't want to talk a whole lot about it. I just kind of show you guys, show it to you guys. I'm not going to crank it because it's really loud. I live in an apartment complex. My neighbors get pissed at me when I crank this thing up, especially in the garage because it just rattles everybody else's uh, apartment. So this is the Mustang. Got it lowered. It is supercharged. I try to keep it really clean. Hopefully some of you guys can appreciate this. I know I got some American muscle lovers on here that watch my channel, so. And I like to ride pretty clean, so I got a little nice set of Nice set of little daily driver wheels on it. That's the Mustang right there. And there's the bike over here. So yeah. If you guys, by the way, it's dark and everything, there's just stock on the inside. I keep it stock. Ain't got much in there. So I like to keep it nice and slick. So that's the Mustang right there, guys. You guys a view from out here. Of course, when you see it coming, you can tell it's nasty. And then there's the bike over there. So Hope this answers your question, man, about what I do for riding my Harley. Uh, I know this video is going to be a little strange for some people that don't ride Harleys, but maybe if you get on one in the long run or even some kind of other crotch rocket street bike, maybe you can appreciate this video. This is what I would do while riding my motorcycle. So, And then for those of you that want to see the Mustang, I kind of put it in there. Maybe later on down the road, if somebody actually wants to see them, I'll put a little, more, a little bit more detail in it. You know, crank them up, stuff like that. Let you hear the radio on the bike. It's super loud. I got a lot of money in that thing. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope everybody's doing well and see you guys in the next one.